Hey guys, so I wanted to, I like to try out new shoes and I wanted to, I saw these on a website, that one of my favorite websites, and I'm like, huh, that is a pretty sharp looking shoe. What is it? And it's called Lane 8. This is their first trainer that they've come out with called the AD1 Trainer. And their website shows and says people can use it in the gym as a trainer, a comfort shoe for casual wear, which I agree with. It's a sharp looking sneaker. And it showed people running on the track and on the road, calling it a runner. So, <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and put that to the test and let's see if this thing really is a runner. Uh, I put it on my foot, I wore it to work yesterday. The website does say that it it starts off as a tight fit and I got these in 12s, that's my normal size in pretty much every shoe. And it was a bit snug, uh, so much so that I actually loosened up the laces on my forefoot, it was starting to, but the, the website said that they'll stretch and fit your foot within, um, with some wear. And this is uh, leather, which is weird for a trainer. This is knit, but believe me, compared to my other knit runners that I had from Noble, the this does not appear to be breathable. I'm gonna, I'm wondering how much my foot's gonna sweat in this shoe when I go out in just a little bit. Uh, but it is sharp, it's EVA midsole, very comfortable as far as the cushion. It's not, uh, it's very hard. It's a res responsive midsole. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not, it's firm. It's not squishy. So I'm, I'm used to running on squishy hokas and really absorbative, absorbative um, cushion. So this is different and uh, I'm looking forward to it. The, they also, this is a stability shoe, they claim, and these are my uh, insoles that I put in because of my foot issue. The, they did come with, well, here's the box that came in. They did come with some pretty nifty looking uh, insoles that they, that these are really squishy. squishy. They claim that these offer a lot more cushion, um, but with my foot issue, I'm much more comfortable in running in my um, orthotics. So these go into the box like all my shoes and my, my orthotics come out. But I wanted to show you what they look like on and I'll try to capture some run bys to see what the stability looks like. I am a supernator, so if they can stop that a little bit, that'll be uh, nice to see. I just did four and a half miles on these. It's 60 degrees out, so my arms are a bit cool, my legs are a bit cool, my feet were smoking hot in these things. Uh, yeah, I did wear socks, I always wear socks, but the, as I said before, these don't breathe. I usually put quite a few miles in before I make my determination on these, on shoes. Not this time. These are my now casual shoes. That's it. They're not runners. Not in my opinion. Uh, maybe at the gym to do some weightlifting. They're stiff. I. I bet you my Clarks would be more comfortable to run miles in than these. 
Short and sweet. I don't like them. I like the way they look. They're casual, and that's the way I'm going to wear them for. So, if you want to try them as a runner, by all means, go ahead. Not this guy. I did four and a half miles on them. That's all they're getting from me. Okay, thanks. Hey guys, so I slept on it, and as you can see in the movie, um, the running clips, that uh, I tried to do that with my GoPro yesterday, but uh, it didn't really come out very well, and you couldn't really see the pronation or stability control of the shoe. Uh, and I wasn't very articulate on what I did not like about them other than uh, they're stiff and not very cushiony. So I took it out today. I went for a trail run. So I brought these with me, put it up on, uh, put the camera on the ground and then slow motioned it for you. So you could see, they actually look like they do offer quite a bit of stability control. I was hitting on the outside, but it didn't, uh, it threw, it threw me on the middle really quickly. So, uh, that is a positive. Uh, it's it's so here's the negatives a little bit more hopefully articulate than before it's heavy leather um, This mesh that isn't see-through. It's not very breathable um, It weighs a lot. I didn't weigh it, but it, my foot feels heavy in it and For as good looking as this shoe is if you do any road <laughs> road running you're gonna you're gonna ruin it. Um, so the stiffness of it, the non cushionness of it, the heaviness of it. My number one dislike is my foot. I, I put it on. I didn't even start running, and my foot was hot. It doesn't breathe, uh, and that's why I don't like this shoe. For a runner, I love this shoe for the way it looks. It looks good in jeans. I do like the sock feel of this ankle and it was very smart of them to put on a pull tab to get it up over your heel. My nobles did not have that, so I do appreciate that. The lacing system, I do like that. There's these rivets or grooves right where your lace can lay in there and so that they're not out of place, so that's nice. So hopefully that helps you try to make your decision. If you're looking for a pure runner or something that you can wear out and uh, go to the track or do a 5K on a road, um, yeah, this probably isn't it, in my opinion.